All right, Truck 180 family. <laughs> it's Dougie. Jim. Today we have the Hitch Safe trailer hitch vault. And we're gonna do a little bit of something different. Not only are we gonna review this thing, we're also gonna see how secure it is. What's in the box? What's in the box? Hi. Are you an idiot? I'm standing next to one. The packaging is so secure. No joke. <laughs> it's probably. <laughs> survived that. It survived that already. That's a good start. All right, so we've got this thing all unboxed on the front here. Little combination dial. It starts out of course your standard uh, zero 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 pull your little lever down and here got a nice little tray probably big enough for a key some money maybe a uh, Money clip won't really fit in there, but it'll definitely fit a key and some cash. Back here, we've got some foam, kind of some anti-rattle, uh, kind of custom fit it to the length of your holes inside of your receiver. Got these decent little pins here. So to pull them out, that's your locked configuration you pull that out pin comes out allows you to put it in there so basically from the outside the only way to get into it it would appear would be either somehow pry off the front which we're going to try or defeat these pins if they did things right it's got the foam there it should be fairly flush up against the receiver and uh, kind of hard to defeat, but we'll see. One thing I forgot to mention before we install this thing, we need to reset the combination. There's a reset screw on the side. We take that, it's in the horizontal position now. We take it, simply turn that to the vertical position. We're gonna set our super secret squirrel code. We won't tell Jim. Now, we test it. Hope you get it wrong. <laughs> so these only turn one way apparently. Nope, I'm just an idiot. They turn both ways. And the new code works. All right, we got your hitch out. We're gonna put this one in. It's Dougie proof, this side up. We've got foam spacers on there to match the holes from inside here to your hitch itself. I already know that that's too much. The goal is to make it as tight as possible. That way it's harder to get into. So this is not exactly lined up, but you can take and kind of compress the foam some and get it in there. So that makes it extremely tight. So it is a little bit harder, that much foam on there, but you're right though, it'll make it harder to get into. Now for the fun part. We're gonna use tools that the common criminal would have and try to get into this thing. So first off, let's try I don't think we'll have much success here. Uh, 
Really not. Well, we broke the screwdriver and not the hitch. So that's, that's a positive. All right, so that didn't work. Pause while I go get another screwdriver. Now that I've got another one, let's try and get in the front here. So there's really not a lot of room in here. I can't, I can't get a purchase point for the screwdriver. All right. Close to a purchase point. All right, we finally got us a little of a purchase point. So it's mainly just the surround there. drawer I can't easily get it out I need something with a hook on it got us a curved pick and we're in so long story short I would say that in a crowded situation like if you're at the mall uh, the beach swimming pool, something like that. You're not gonna be able to get in with a screwdriver. You're gonna break it before anything else. We got in it with a hammer, but of course, the hammer's gonna draw a lot of frickin' attention. It's not exactly uh, SEAL Team 6 stealthy. I would give it, as far as security goes, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, you're definitely not going to keep your nuclear secrets in it. But as far as a key, I think it's going to deter most criminals. If you like what you see, if you want one of these guys, there's a link in the uh, description down below. It does help us to put more reviews out there uh, if you purchase with that affiliate link. I think we're about done here today. Uh, till next time, stay addicted to Octane.